Hi YouTubers, Phoenix Talon back with you for another Crataverse tutorial. So we're going to do something that's kind of an old machine, but we're going to do a new update to it because I really am not ready to give up on lava to, or sand to salt with lava yet. And, um, you know, just placing a manually is a little, you know, slow. I'd like to pillar up and do it, but it's a little dangerous because, you know, lava. All right, so we're going to do something here. Um, this is about 7x7, seven seven, so what is it? No, it's not 7x7. Seven seven. This is 7x7. Seven seven. That's 7x7. Seven seven. This is 3, so what is that? 3x3 three three with 1, 2, 3 cut out. Anyway, you see what, you can make one of these, okay? It's, it's yeah, it, just make one. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and put something in the center that's easily recognizable and fly like a bird <laughs> then you're going to come up here and hopefully you don't just fly and fly and fly and fly Whee! okay that's enough flying all right that, that's like a thing that happens okay then you'll come up to some height that you want uh, make it very tall because tall is good don't go into the cold area though because if you do this may not work okay and you're going to go ahead and make a 7x7 seven seven platform, like so. Okay, um, I would probably say put a block right here. And then what you'll do is start placing your phase blocks. So what you're going to do is rotate these so they're facing down. And you're just going to place these all around. And try not to get pushed off when you do this. Because you're hitting shift so that you can do this. And that's kind of sprint, which negates your um, C button for crouch. So you will probably get knocked off a few times, so be very careful. It's very sad if you fall from a very high place. So yeah, don't do that. All right, so make sure they're all facing upside down, which they are, and then come down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use hardened lava because lava is really hard to place. So we'll do this, this, and this, and that, and not that. This, and that, and that even, and you two, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, not you. You don't go there. You go there, there, and there. Put you here, there, and there. Okay, and you should have a little tiny hole right here. Excellent. You have done very well. Okay, so then you're going to go up here and place like so. Now, we can't do everything just yet. We need some logic up here. So let's go ahead and build some. So I'm going to make a little bitty thing off to the side here so that we can start putting some logic. All right, and logic is fun, so don't be afraid. Okay. So what do we need? Well, we need something that I don't want this to accidentally trigger while we're down there. But then again, I want to be able to turn it on and off. So what should we use? We should use a switch, right? Okay. Well, we also need some kind of a, a, I think, a sensing mechanism to make sure that it won't turn on even with a switch while we're down there. Okay. So we don't want that. We want to be standing up here when it's ready to throw it. Okay. That's what we want. All right. And that is exactly what we will do. So let us go ahead and get out of crouch because I can't jump while I'm doing that. And we're going to put a switch right here. Okay? So we're going to throw a switch right here. Now, behind here, we're going to go ahead and, well, actually, probably right here in the corner. We're going to go ahead and throw that up. And we're going to place a sensor. Now, the sensor, actually, I put that way too high up. Sorry. Sensor there. There we go. The sensor is going to measure above it and then around it. So let's make sure that we're actually in the right place. So we'll go ahead and get that out. And you'll just go ahead and do like a little two, four. Make sure we're turned the right way, which we're not. So let's go ahead and turn said sensor the right way. And it should be one rotation that way. And there you go. So we're facing the right way, and we want it to go ahead and sense when we're up on this platform. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. So let's go here. We're going to go ahead, and I know this is a 7x7 seven seven platform, so we're going to do 7x7, seven seven, and we'll make a height of, oh, I don't know, 3. We don't want creatures to accidentally activate this, so we'll do this. And we'll go ahead and say, throw the switch. All right? So when we're in here, it'll say throw the switch. So now we actually know how to use this thing. Okay, and then we'll throw the switch and everything will work. Okay, so when that is on and that is on, that is when we want all these to turn off. Hmm, sounds hard, doesn't it? Okay, and the way we do that is we're going to use a NAND gate. 
So let's go ahead and throw one back here. Logic gate, turn to NAND, hit save. Get this to output to here, get that to output to there. And if we see, let's go ahead and do one of these. There we go. So you can see that with this and that, now it'll work, all right? But you see how it's on right now. That's what we want, okay? Because when it's on, that means it's collecting whatever it is that's down below it, okay? When it's off, that means it's letting it go. So now we can throw the switch, it turns off, lava flows, throw the switch back up, on, it takes the lava. Okay, that's what we want. This is what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and get rid of that because that's not what we want right at the moment. And just because, let's go ahead and turn that on, turn it off, so now we can use it and K that again. Excellent! That's how you turn these things on and off if you can't interact with it, okay? Otherwise, you could just interact with it like that. Okay, so it's up to you how you want to do this. Let's go ahead and take this signal, and we're going to have to put this to all of these. Okay, so let's do that right now. We'll go ahead and, there we go, come in here, select. I don't want to be able to interact with these, so I'm going to do this, because I don't want anybody to accidentally mess up my machine. I'll go ahead and copy that. I select the love, actually, excuse me, I don't want to select that yet. That's, I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> let's go ahead and get all of these in here on this. So that we can do this can interact there we go is that the right one yeah it is excellent all right come on there you go can interact yes we're gonna have to go in here twice and there's a reason for that because i want to make sure all the logic is wired up so i can turn these off if i need to okay in case i have a in incident all right the other thing that we can do is we can actually come in here can interact save and can interact and save. All right, come on. There you go. Paste and interact, save. And we're doing this. I realize we're gonna have to go in here twice. I know that, but I do these things for a reason. I'm not quite sure what they are, but we didn't call it crazy reverse for no reason. So there you go. All right, so there we go, that, that, that. And there and there and there and there. And there, and there. Excellent. Alright, we got all this going for us. Alright, we just quickly go through all of these. And yes, I know we're using a lot of these phase blocks, but if this works, it doesn't matter because, you know, it's fun. <laughs> fun with machines. <laughs> they say, why would you build it? Well, because I can, and it's fun. Fun. Machines are fun. All right, did I get this one? I didn't. And I think I got most of these. Did I get this one? I did. Did I get this one? I didn't. I thought there was one I missed. Did I get you? Should have. Excellent. And you. Yes. And you. Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, so if I turn this, then these should all turn on. Or turn off, rather. There we go. Turn on. Awesome. That's what we want. Okay, cool. So now, here's what we're going to do. Now that we've got the logic for sure wired up, you say, well, why did we place the hardened lava? Well, haha, I have a secret up my sleeve. All right. We are going to use Firebomb! Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. So now, all of this should be lava. So now, we need to quickly go in here and select just the first one, or you can select two if you want. But just the first one is the source block. So select that and hit save. Hit that and save. You see why I did why I did the logic though first because I wanted to make sure that we got all all the things, all the things. Excellent. Okay, so let's do this side. And it should stay lava because we have enough of it down there to keep everything all warm. All right, so that's that's the important business. There we go, save, save. Now, you can make this pretty tall, okay? And that's kind of the idea, so that you can bring lava into it and get lava out of it. All right, there we go, save, 
And this is only dangerous to people below you. <laughs> Otherwise, it is quite safe, I assure you. I assure you, it's quite safe. <laughs> All right, and that should be done. Excellent. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off the machine. Awesome. Now, we should, should be able to go down and hopefully hmm wow we have warm worm spawnage that's awesome all right there we go and if this is happening to you then you probably are like me and trying to figure out what is going on with that and that's really awesome i love that we need some tourmaline anyway. There we go. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this. Now, we may have to... Actually, now I'm looking at it, We may have to put lava around the outer edge. I was thinking we might have to, but I was trying to avoid it if at all possible. So let's go ahead and see if this works, though. All right. Proof of concept coming up in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Throw the switch. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> so now this should be turning all of this to salt below us. I hope it is. All right. Let's see. That should be enough. And let's throw the switch. And let's see. Look at that. Instant salt. Fantastic. And you just collect your salt. Try not to die. Yeah. See, I, I thought it would not do that. Okay. Well, I guess it does it. But, hey, look at that. Hardened lava generator on the way down. Because <laughs> you never know, right? When you need hardened lava. So if that's happening to you, then chances are you just got to um, go ahead and um, put some lava on the outside. And that should work for you. But either way, what I'm trying to show you is about the fluid thing. Honestly, that's what I was really trying to do. And I was just seeing if this would actually work. And it did. I mean, that was pretty good. There you go. 15 salt. Just like that. So that's not too bad. Make it really tall. Put some lava around it. There you go. Good good to go, right? So a lot of fun. And I think you'll enjoy it. And that was pretty easy to build. So there you go. Let's try it again because that was actually kind of cool. And I, you know what we could do? Just for giggles and, you know, other stuff. Um, we could go ahead and... Oh, not that one. Hey, you... We could try it and see if I'm right and see if it'll work. So let's do the. Well, no, it won't work because it needs to be too deep. Never mind. Okay, let's just do this again. There we go. Woo! Wow. I love it when it does that. It's so much fun. Okay. And if we really want to, we can get rid of that. Throw the switch. Look at that. There you go. Because we're here. We're in the middle of the sensor area. So it'll work just fine. Boom! As soon as that turns to salt, I think we're pretty much good. So, let's go ahead and throw that again. Excellent! Let's go down. Fantastic. Fantabulous. I like it. This is great. <laughs> Look at that. See, it, only, it does it on some of them. But, hey, whatever. Hardened lava generator and salt generator. Fantastic. Look at that. I like it. All right. I'll tweak around with it. I'll play with it. But I think we got something here. Um, certainly, this is a lot better than what I had before. Um, maybe if I put lava down here, it'll help. I don't know. I'll play with it. I'll let you know what I come up with. Either way, though, that works pretty good. So you only end up with a little bit of hardened lava on the way down. But the idea is to make the salt. So we just made 30 salt pretty quick. And it's an easy to build machine. Uh, just takes a few of those little phaser thingies. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a quick tutorial this time. And, you know, the more I play with these phase blocks, maybe I'll come up with some more stuff. Um, interested to see, you know, what type of devices you guys are coming up with. Uh, certainly traps, obviously, you know, the little pitfall traps. But I wanted to see if, you know, something uh, more productive could be made. Because we're always trying to find automatic machines for these things, right? You know, stuff that just makes other stuff. So that's what we're doing here. We're just trying to make stuff, okay? So um, let me know what you come up with and, and uh, you know, we'll talk about it. So uh, until next time, thank you for watching and peace.